Hey guys, so this is going to be another video on a scuff. This is the exact same scuff I did an unboxing and kind of like a first look slash review on. Um, these are going to be more of a later in-depth review of my scuff, the pros and cons of the scuff um, Infinity um, for Xbox One. Now, first thing I'm going to say is I have had this scuff, um, this particular one for several months now, and I did have my old one that I gave away um, for about a year um, till I gave that one away. Um, first thing I'm going to say about this, the pros, I'm going to go over the pros first, and then I'm going to go over the cons. The pro is going to be mainly... It's going to be how you can change these. You can change them out, customize them. You can change the color and all that. That's one of the main pros in it. Also, another main pro is that they have changed um, how the back paddles are. I don't know if you can see, um, but they have changed how the back paddles are. And it is able to, like, if you have Astro headset or whatever... They can, you can put it in without problem because the paddles are slightly raised and they're like buttons. Um, they have like little like um, spikes or something. I don't know what to call them. Um, protruding from the paddles going into the scuff itself, pressing a button. To, so allowing it to be raised so you can use um, anything. Another one is you can take out these paddles without, um, you can take them out and you can move them around, customize them any way you like. I do recommend just leaving them all in. It, there's, I mean, if you're not going to use it, don't, don't take it out and risk losing one of these paddles and having to go to scuff and buy another one. Um, the hair triggers are nice. They are nicer than in the, um, in the original scuff one. Um, another thing is, is that, um, pretty much, hmm, let me think. Um, I mean, there's just more customization to it. In the end, it works roughly the same. The trigger fingers are a little, little bit better. You do, um, you can customize this more to whatever your needs. But other than that, you um what i'm going to say is that is pretty much it for the um, for the pros of this scuff um now let's going to let's move to the cons the big one i am um the biggest con right now i'm going to say is battery life this scuff um it 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 just it uses a lot of battery um there's a lot of there's a quite a few extra buttons on it um the vibration and everything everything like that this this controller the scuff infinity in itself just um it just uses a lot of battery now that's gonna be the biggest con um i mean it's not too big of a deal Another con is is you cannot just charge your battery. If I wanted to charge my battery, I would um, while playing, I would have to like make a cut out of um, out of where you slide out the battery part, and that I would not. I don't really want to do something like that and possibly ruin my scuff. Um, another con is I'm going to say also the trigger fingers. Um, there was. I had to I had to modify these quite a bit. Um, the so how it works is normally there's a little rubber um, thing, little rubber pad when you press down the trigger. Um, it it kind of just like it buffers it. It doesn't give it like a clicking noise. Um, but for some reason, with these. Um, with the handle, when the handle grips in that do have the adjustable trigger, hair trigger, um, they, it did not work. It was just not working for me. So it wouldn't fire at all, no matter how low or how high I put it. So I don't know if this is just several out there, but this is going to be a warning to you on the scuff itself. Another con is, is these 
I don't know if you can see them. You might be able to see a little hole, but there's a little hole right at that black spot. Uh, you can't really see that. Um, but, but trust me, there's a little hole at each end, and it it adjusts the hair trigger. Um, that was That is kind of finicky to work with, I hope, uh, in a next time, or if they make new parts for this, that it would be it will be much easier um, to adjust. Um, another con I'm going to say is the... I mean, there really isn't much with this scuff. It's a good product. Um, another con is... For me, I guess this is more for the Xbox One controller style in general. It's just kind of bulky. In the sense, it might also be the grips I have on to make it a little bit more bulky. But I don't have the largest hands in the world, okay? I mean, I mean, I don't have like tiny, tiny hands, but I don't. But a glove size, I can fit into mediums and some smalls even. Uh, but and so that's gonna be another one if you have smaller hands like me or if you're a girl. One of the last cons is going to be the thumbsticks. The thumbsticks in general, it doesn't matter if it's a scuff or really any other thing. Unless you have like control freaks on top of it. These do kind of wear down. I mean, I mean, actually they're not too bad. But if you have the domed version, they do wear down quite easily and quite quickly. Um, which was kind of unfortunate. Um, because I did like the dome on my old scuff, but they do wear down fairly easily, and that is no different because they just use the same type of thumbsticks in the new one. That's going to be pretty much it for as it goes for pros and cons on this scuff. Other than that, if I were uh, to give it a um, range out of 10, I would say that it would get probably a 9 to an 8 point around a 9 I would say around a 9 let's just stick with that yes um it does have quite a few cons but there are many pros and it is worth buying if you are on the cusp of buying a scuff I cannot say the exact same for the 4PS uh, controller for the scuff because I do not own a PS4, but I would. Um, but if I ever get one, I would love to do a review on the PS4 version of the scuff. Also, other than that, that's pretty much it as far as this goes. This was not a very long video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video, guys. You all have a good one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to watch my other content. I am trying to post up more and more often. It is hard with work. But other than that, this is Poisonberry Pie Gaming. And you all have a good one.